So this is the part four of the course where we are talking about how to grow your YouTube channel through YouTube ads. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, then I would strongly recommend you to click this I button and go and watch them first. Otherwise, you won't understand what I'm talking about. So let's get started with this video. This video will be a pure experiment, like pure practical, where I'll take you to my screen and show you how to create a campaign, then an ad group, and then lastly, an ad. And while doing so, I'll explain what are the technicalities involved and how or make you understand basically what all things are there and how to read them and how to understand it and what do they signify at the end of the day. Hi guys, Sanadi this side and this is the place where I talk about digital marketing, YouTube, personal branding and everything. So if you have been watching this playlist, then you would have already learned my introduction till now. But if you haven't, then I'll repeat it once again. You can also go ahead and check out the link in the description to all my other social media accounts. Why I'm laughing? Because I have been repeating this intro for like four times in a row within a day and I just feel stupid. So let's get started and let me take you to my screen. So we are on my screen right now and you can see that there is only one campaign which is right now, which I already told you that, you know, Google ask us to create it so that it can run on our behalf and deduct money as soon as possible. So we have paused this particular campaign. Now we'll make a new one. And while making that, I'll help you understand what all things are there. And it's not that hard. Okay, so we'll click on this plus icon. After clicking on this plus icon, there would be an, there would be an option named new campaign. Click on that. Now it is asking us what should be your goal. And since you are with me, don't select any goal because selecting any goal actually restricts all your option in future to improvise a particular campaign, ad group or ad. So don't just select this one. And then as I discussed earlier that these are the campaign types. We are not bothered about search, display, shopping or anyone. We are bothered about video. So we'll click on the video. Here they are. And so as I said, uh, as I explained earlier that there are in-stream ads, okay, then there are, you know, custom video campaign or uh, there are bumper ads, then video discovery. So basically they all are the category and which one do you have to select? You have to select this one, custom video campaign, because it gives you the maximum variety. So select this one and then continue. You can select others as well, depending upon your goal, but right now don't. When you are experienced and when you know Google ads to the level that I know you can go ahead and experiment, but right now don't let's run the thing and let's get out of it. So just continue. Now we are continuing. Now the next thing is it will ask us to give it a name. Now I have a very particular nomenclature which I'll explain you. So today is 27th. So I'll just type 27th and then the month which is 10 and then the year. So this is the nomenclature which I follow. Then hyphen. So today I'm making the first campaign of, you know, of the day. So I'll type one. Okay. And since it is a campaign, so other thing is zero and zero. So first zero signifies the ad group and third zero signifies the ad. So basically it uh, gives me an hierarchy as well that if I see that it is 110 that that means basically I'm in an ad group and if it gives me or it shows me it's 100 that means I am in a campaign. So it also helps me navigate. So which you would understand when I'll help you optimize at the end of this course that why this particular structure is also important. So 100 for the campaign name and 110 for the ad group and if you are making two ad groups in the similar campaign on the same day then 120. Got it? Well, this is a bit complicated. You can ignore it right now, but you would understand eventually. Then I named the video. Basically the video is 100 subs. So that's what is going on. Then I explain what are the demographics or if it is audience based or if it is placement based or if it is something else. So this is audience and in audience, I would be picking up media. Now in the next video, I'll help you target audience as well. But Till the time we are not going to that particular video, I'm gonna help you understand all the other technicalities. So the things like which keyword should you target, which audience should you target and which placement should you target would be covered in the next video. 
so wait till then let me explain you how to make it so that you get a top or a bird eye view of how it is done and then we can actually go ahead and check out which kind of audience do we attract or do we need and that's how it goes just stay there and you will understand by the end of it so next one is maximum cpv so this is the bidding strategy basically there are two of them one is maximum cpv and another one is target cpm so maximum cpv is basically how much maximum money are you gonna give for the cost per view so for one view how much are you ready to give or another one is target cpm so basically for thousand impressions how much are you willing to pay i choose generally maximum cpv why because it is more beneficial and it is profitable so this is what you are also going to select then the campaign total so basically there are two things either you can give a daily budget so this is a budget and date section so you, either you can give a daily budget or you can give a campaign total if you select daily then basically the end date is selected for none and you can give a daily budget of this much amount of money you want to spend on a daily basis but i don't do that because google is very notorious when it comes to draining your money out what happens is you give a budget of let's say 100 rupees the next day it will be spending 200 regardless of the fact that you have given it 100 rupees budget why because on an average of 30 days they would actually argue that on an average of 30 days we would be spending that much amount of money so initially when your ad is running they might spend double of what you are supposed to spend which is i think a shady technique so i go for campaign total and then I select the end date so for the purpose of this particular video i'll be running ads okay and we'll show you how to optimize them in real time so what i have selected is i have selected how many days do i have selected so 1 2 3 4 5 so given that our ad is approved today on or today itself we would be running our ad for 5 days so the campaign total would be now you have to understand what the campaign total should be when you are experimenting i would ask you to go ahead and experiment for 3 days or 5 days and if you are experimenting for 5 days then invest 2000 in total make 15 different campaigns and the total budget of all the campaigns combined should be 2000 i am not saying that of an individual i am saying for the total it should be 2000 okay and divide it equally so 2000 divided by 15 and that's going on for 5 so again divided by 5 so how much does it come maybe i i should also do that 2000 divided by 5 divided by 15 so if you are making or if you are making a set of campaigns which are 15 and you are going to run them for 5 days okay and then the daily budget of every campaign would be 26 rupees basically if you round it off it would be 27 rupees so invest 27 rupees on every campaign now i would explain you how they would be 15 by the end of the next video or next to next video when i explain you what is targeting and everything then you would understand why they are 15 okay and how you are going to do it so currently what i am going to do is i am just going to say that 27 because i am going to invest 2000 rupees over the period of next exactly next 5 days oh sorry i have to multiply it by 5 so 27 into 5 is basically first of all let's just is it so uh, campaign total would be over a period of 5 days is 133 my maths is not good as you can see that so then it would be 26 for every day okay and it would be running for 5 you can see it over here also this section is also important it gives you an estimate of what is happening okay now we have covered almost three sections now we would be moving to the fourth one the fourth one says that where do you want to show this particular ad i want to show this particular ad not on video partners on the display network you don't need to understand it you can just you know click over here and you will see the details of it but i would say don't do it just leave it okay and then locations location i am running it in on all over india basis so i'll just let it be anyway you can also include other countries like bangladesh pakistan or whatever country you like if you are in usa then obviously usa but i'm not that optimistic that us audience is watching me right now 
but yeah definitely you can do that then you have to enter the language i generally am speaking in english so i go ahead and check in english because i am because my videos are in english and i don't want a person who is not able to speak in english should see my video but still google shows it it's not that good but yeah it's fine then the next one is inventory type so when you click on inventory type i would go for expanded inventory because expanded inventory also includes the, these things and the brands like zomato swiggy adidas or whatever brand amazon they don't want to be associated with this kind of content and they don't want to advertise on this particular kind of content so that's what they do then moving on this is basically excluded types and labels so these are some labels which you want to exclude upon which is live streaming videos and embedded youtube videos because generally there is a trend that on these particular things people generally don't click so you would end up wasting some amount of money so don't do it and also content not yet labeled just exclude it that means untick it why because you don't want to judge your audience they can come from anywhere and obviously it will give you a low cpv because brands won't be you know advertising on these particular things then additional settings so over here it is conversion so basically include in conversion so use the account level include in conversion setting okay fine i've got no issues with that i can go ahead and change that uh, in the conversion settings but i don't want to it's totally fine then basically devices if you want to select any particular device in general and want to exclude it i would go ahead and ask you to exclude tv screens because whenever someone is watching youtube on tv screens they are not going to click plain simple common sense so i have excluded it then frequency capping so cap impression frequency i generally put a cap of one impression per month so what does this say is basically a user would be able to see your ad or just get an impression of it once per month why i do it because google is notorious google is notorious okay this is basically this is their i won't say that this is their heading but yeah they are in the business of money so generally they show your ads a lot of times to people and that shoots up your cpv why because if a person who has already seen your ad and hasn't clicked on it there is no reason to show it or show it to him again because there are a lot of people who haven't been shown the ad so show it to them instead so i generally put it to 1 and also you can try uh, you can also click on this cap view frequency which would be like just replace the impression with the view and that's how it would be so after clicking and viewing it the condition would apply then ad schedule if you are a pro then i would ask you to put an ad schedule but you can leave it right now because google is good in that terms that it doesn't yeah it trust me it doesn't spend in that particular period and it is good at optimizing when to spend and when not to spend then i'll be creating ad group and i'll pick up the name from here and i'll put the same name on the ad group with a minute change which is 110 now you would also be thinking that why do i make or let me explain you one thing i make a point of is that there should be only one ad group in one campaign and there can be multiple ads but only one ad group in one campaign and targeting only one kind of either audience or placement or keyword why because google doesn't provide us that much amount of data at a very granular level that we can actually come to any conclusion so making separate campaigns actually gives us that kind of freedom that we can actually come to a concrete experimental result at the end of it so that's why i put only one ad group in one campaign but there can be multiple ads but that's my strategy and i would also highly recommend you to do the same for obvious reasons for you know getting an experimental result which is proper and you can actually rely on it then it is demographics so in ad group so basically now i'll explain one more thing so at a campaign level you get to select these things okay and these are in control with respect to a campaign but in ad group you get to select these things which is demographics audiences keywords like placement basically then bidding so these are the things which you get on an ad group basics so that's what i was referring to in the part 2 of this video series 
now you can select which kind of people do you want to target whether they should be male female or what age should they belong to what should be their parental status what should be their household income and trust me when it comes to targeting google is pretty good at it because every website has google pixel right now if i disregard amazon every every website has it so google knows stuff so it is pretty accurate when it comes to it so audiences and then keywords and placements i'll explain to you in the next consecutive videos in the next three consecutive videos where i'll help you identify the target audience on which you should target so that you get the maximum amount of subscribers subscribers in this one uh, since i have selected that it should be media oh i just forgot doing one thing which is basically i have labeled it but now it should be 110 because it is oh i did that 110 but i did it wrong wrong one 100 subs is the name and this should be 110 okay now as i said that this particular campaign is for the audience media so i'll just search the audience which is media just relax i know you might be feeling anxious that i don't know about this one but yeah you would know uh, as soon as i discuss it in the next video so i want to run this particular ad on social media enthusiast and that's why i have typed media over here well i should have typed sme but yeah you got the point so i'm just going to run this particular ad only on that particular audience and now you can see that the available impressions have changed and when i'll set the bid then you will get the correct impression as well that how many impressions would be there so now the topics uh basically i don't want to discuss that right now then the bidding so keep the bidding to 0.2 okay and then we can then obviously depending on the metrics we can reduce it further so that we have lower cpvs but initially keep it till 20 paisa or if you are watching from some other country then keep it you know just include the purchasing power parity with regards to india and multiply that factor and just put it over there okay so this is it and then you would see that it has changed and it's asking us to increase the bid it's okay we don't want to now i'll be doing the ad creation but if i want to skip it i can also skip it and but i won't be skipping it so i would be creating an ad over here so i want this particular video to run ads upon so i have selected it now it is asking me which kind of ad do you want do you want it skippable in stream ad do you want it video discovery ad now as discussed we want video discovery ad okay now we have to fill the headline description and then description over here i'll just name it 110 it would be 111 sorry because it's ad and as you can see that the available impressions have changed and you can find out all the things which are over here it gives you a rough estimate of whom who will see your ads and how they will see it and everything now i'll give it a headline now you have to keep one thing in mind when you are making an ad you can't use instagram you can't use youtube you can't use the brand words like canva or anything which are the intellectual properties of those particular brands if you are using it your ad will be disapproved trust me if you don't believe it i'll show it to you right now okay now i have used youtube and just see what will happen when i click on create campaign so i'm click i'm clicking on create campaign and it will give me an error item violation policy that it is youtube and even if i use instagram it will show the same error so what i can do is i'll just use yt or i'll spell it wrong gain yt subs done see how simple it was so this is how you create a campaign and this is the whole process well meet you in the next video